what's up y'all your boy back um all honesty bro i'm i know i'm mad late to this topic or whatever but there's nothing else to talk about right now as far as music goes the last thing for me personally that i felt like talking about was um the weekend's timeless song that came out with playboy cardi but i listened to it on my own time so i was like yo there's no point in me trying to do a video for y'all you know what i'm saying but I'm in that mode again where I want to make videos again, but there's absolutely nothing to talk about. So I figured, you know what? I listened to the J. Cole track. Let me go ahead and give my thoughts on it, right? So J. Cole is on this song basically preaching to everybody, saying what he would have done if he did this, if he did that. And it's like, first of all, I feel like the beef is done, you know? Um, I do believe that Kendrick and Drake will continue to throw shots at each other as the years go on, or hopefully they just cut it off all together and do a reunion tour together. That'd be funny as hell, but, um, I don't see that happening anytime soon. As far as we know, it's done. It's cooked. It's sauteed. It's over, you know? So for Cole to come back after publicly backing out from the beef, you pub, you publicly did it at your own show shouting out Kendrick, seeing how great of an artist Kendrick is, just for you to come back months later and say how, oh, my friends got in, into war and I left with all the blood on me. Bro, no, you, no. While Drake and Kendrick were fighting and duking it out, you were on a beach somewhere making music. Did we forget? <laughs> did we, did, what are you talking about? J. Cole getting on this song, talking about what he could have done and all. Nobody is saying that J. Cole is not a great rapper. Right. In my personal opinion, he's definitely, a, you know, one of the greatest artists we have, one of the greatest rap artists. You know what I'm saying? Because as time as time has gone on, Cole has only gotten better with his music, especially when it comes to his features. Now, if you deny that you are a hater, you know, but for Cole to constantly for months, by the way, for months to get on songs and say, I'm number one, I'm the best, nobody doing it like me. Even on this song, Port, a Port Antonio, he's doing that as well. He's saying, nobody can stop me. No, Y'all ain't stopping me. Uh, I'm, I'm the big honcho. Ain't nobody, you, you know, nobody can compare to my pen. And then when you had the opportunity to actually showcase your pen, oh, no, 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 I see where this is going. I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. I don't know. I feel like Cole making this song is very weird to me because we all know him and drake are cool right so for him to get on a song uh, besides him showing love dr to drake which i don't see that as an issue my issue is you get on the song and you throw in these sh these subtle shots to kendrick right you you're being very very passive aggressive on this freaking song towards kendrick now if kendrick came out and said something crazy about you what happens? It'll be crickets. You ain't gonna say nothing. You made my might delete later that was riddled with shots to Kendrick, right? And then what 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 song did he delete? Was it seven minute drill or seven minute something? I believe it's seven minute drill, right? Or seven minute warning. Something like that. You come out with that song, riddled with disses and stuff like that. And according to J. Cole himself, oh, it don't fit right with my spirit. That's just not who I am. And you get rid of the freaking song. So what was the point of backing out publicly to everybody? What was the point of dropping might as well delete later if you were literally gonna delete the damn diss song that everybody was talking about? What is the point of you getting on these songs every single day talking about I'm better than you, 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 and you, and when actual competition comes and shows up at your freaking front door, you run away, you hide, you say, nah, 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 I don't wanna do it, I don't want no beef, boss man. I give it to Drake for not only saying, well, basically starting this, you know, we all know this has been going on for about 10 plus years, but for him to get on first person shooter and, you know, they throw in their shots or whatever, and then to follow it up with, um, what was it? Push-ups and then family matters, I believe. Right. So for him to follow up with them joints and then Kendrick come out swinging as well, it was cool to see, you know, I Drake definitely lost. Drake definitely freaking lost. We we have all acknowledged that, but it was great to see Drake actually step up and try. You know, he actually made some nice little bars on there when he wasn't sending shots to everybody else who wasn't Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it was good to see him hold his own, even though he lost. Um, 
cold, you could have did the same thing, but you didn't. You know, you literally said, oh, this goes against what I believe in and this goes against my spirit. And I don't I don't want to you know, I don't want conflict between friends. Kendrick literally said on Euphoria, this is a friendly fade. You should keep it that way. And Drake went for the head. So Kendrick had to go for the head, the body and everyone else around that bitch and blow everything to flip up. So again, Cole coming out on this song, talking like you talking like you've been talking for all this time. And then saying, oh, what I would have done, what I should. No, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's over. The beef is done. So I don't see the point of him. Matter of fact, Cole, if you're watching, delete this song too. Delete it. Just get rid of it. Act like it never freaking happened. The same way you want to act like you wasn't sitting on that damn beach <laughs> while Drake and Kendrick was going at it. Go back to that beach. Just go back in silence. And nobody's saying that Cole can't rap. But when it comes to this beef, you buy it out. So keep it that way. You know what I'm saying? That's just my thoughts on the freaking song. I hope that Kendrick does not pay this song any mind. And honestly, I hope Kendrick and Cole are still cool behind the scenes. I know Kendrick and Drake will never be cool behind the scenes because they've been, again, they've been sending shots to each other for 10 plus years. They, they are not friends. They're not cool. Right. But I'm hoping that Kendrick and Cole can be cool and just right let this let this you know die out like it should have already right um and leave it at that you know what i'm saying uh like i said there's nothing else to really talk about when it comes to this music stuff um the weekend dropped timeless with playboy cardi which was cool and if y'all hear a lawnmower in the back that's just people working outside um but yeah ain't nothing else going on right now so hopefully you know, by this weekend, uh, we'll have some new music and I could drop some videos for y'all. Um, y'all let me know in the comment section, what would you like to see? What kind of videos you would like to see? Because I want to start talking about the NBA season when it starts, you know, when it, um, I think next week it starts, right? So I would love to start talking about the NBA season. I'm a Lakers fan, by the way. So I will be talking about the Lakers, you know, predominantly. So be ready for that. Um, as well as the WNBA. You know, I want to cover more basketball when music is just not doing it for me. So, y'all let me know if y'all would like to see that. Same thing with movies as well. Um, I'm trying to get back into watching a lot more movies and, you know, giving my thoughts and stuff. So, if y'all would like to see that, y'all let me know. Um, other than that, man, it feels good to be back. I want to drop more videos, but I have to actually care to cut this camera on. You know what I'm saying? I got to care. So... Hope y'all are doing well, by the way. I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm, I'm alive, you know. But, um, yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. It's always on the squad. Thank you for watching. Cole, get over it. The beef is done. Uh, Drake, I hope Drake can learn from this beef and go back to making the music. Not necessarily go back to making the same music that he was making, like with Take Care and Nothing Was The Same and if you're reading this and stuff like that, but go back to making music that actually has substance. With this entire beef, that's what I hope Drake can take from this. Making music that people actually freaking care about. Yeah, people are gonna still call you a culture vulture. They're still gonna have all these jokes for you and everything, but go back to making music that's meaningful again. You know, cause that's the main reason why I don't listen to Drake no more. Because the music he makes is, it ain't got no substance in it. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you what's wrong, but it ain't got no gas in it. You know, like, it's not, it's, it's not the same. And Drake literally made an album called Nothing Was The Same, but I didn't think it would go in this freaking direction, you know? So I'm hoping that Drake can, again, learn from this, be better from this, don't talk to underage children, and, you know, just, <laughs> and just make good music. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And for Kendrick, continue making your music and going back in the cave and then coming out when you feel like it and drop music again. You know, hopefully we get a new Kendrick album before the year is done um, because he is, you know, headlining the Super Bowl next year. So hopefully we could get some new music from him um, aside from the beef. Right. And yeah, you know, I'm excited for the weekend new album. I think the weekend dropping his album next month in November because he's he has another uh, tour date, I believe, next week, if I'm not mistaken. So I think the album will be coming out next month. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well with that. And um, I don't know who else is dropping, but hopefully we get some some good music, you know, to end 2024. Because this has been a year, dog. This has been a year, yo. 
I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.